Okay, right here is a 1985 Marion 7820 walking drag line. The 7820 was introduced by Marion in 1970 as part of Marion's new 7000 series of walking drag lines. Now, let's go and get a closer look at this big machine. The 7820 was equipped with Marion's exclusive four-core deep section boom with available lengths ranging from 225 to 315 feet. This 7820 is equipped with a 225-foot boom. The boom point shivs on this machine feature a ball swivel shiv mounting design which allows for pivoting as the bucket swings. This in turn reduces shiv scuffing, hoist rope wear, and also allows for greater bucket loads and swing speeds. The 7820 was designed to swing a bucket ranging from 30 to 45 cubic yard capacity depending on boom length. This particular 7820 is digging with a 44 cubic yard bucket. The 7820 features Marion's exclusive over-under fair lead system, which provides constant contact between the drag ropes and the lower shivs during both digging and hoisting. This in turn allows for longer drag rope life, reduced maintenance, and also helps remove debris before entering the house. In addition, this system also provides for a better machinery layout inside of the house. From here you can get a good view of the tub on the 7820, which measures 50 feet in diameter. And if you look right here, you can see all of the independent circle rollers, which will swing this drag line about the tub when it's in operation. The operator's cab on the 7820 is extended outward to provide for a clear view of the pit floor for the operator. And Marion also offered optional twin cabs for the 7820, depending on what the customer preferred.
7820 features Marion's tri-structure support system, which was probably one of Marion's greatest engineering feats applied to their walking drag lines. This design feature consists of an intermediate mast mounted in between the main boom and gantry, which you can see right here. What this does is absorb the load shock between the boom and gantry and evenly distributes the forces generated from the digging cycle across the rails and rollers, reducing peak loads and promoting longer rail and roller service life. Additionally, this design also permits an increase in allowable bucket load at a longer dumping radius. Right here you can see one of the big walking shoes on the 7820. Now, let's talk a little bit about the walking and propel system on this machine. A DC electric motor drives the walking shaft on this machine, which connects on both ends to an eccentric crank, which you can see right here. When this machine is engaged into the propel mode, the walking shaft will rotate the eccentric crank, which in turn will lower the walking shoes to the ground. As the eccentric crank rotates, the rear of the drag line is lifted off the ground until only the tub trailing edge remains in contact with the ground, transferring about 80% of the drag line's weight to the shoes. As the eccentric crank completes the rotation, the machine is slid backward, a distance referred to as a step. The 7820 takes a seven foot step every rotation, moving along at a top travel speed of 0 0.15 miles per hour. Each shoe is connected to the walking arm by a ball swivel shoe mounting, which allows for both shoe rotation as well as internal movement permitting the shoe to conform to uneven ground surfaces. This prevents bending forces from damaging the walking arms or shoes and ensures uniform load distribution. Now, let's go up on the 7820. Unfortunately, the machinery house on this drag line is locked, so I will not be able to take you inside and show you the interior on this machine. However, if we take a walk down the catwalk here, we can take a peek through the side window at the operator's cab. Let's go and check it out. From looking through the side window right here, you can get a good overview of the interior of the operator's cab on this machine. Directly in front of the operator's seat, you can see two hand levers. The left hand lever controls the drag function on this machine. Push forward to extend the bucket out and pull back to pull the bucket in. The right hand lever controls the hoist. Push forward to lower the bucket down and pull back to hoist the bucket up. Two foot pedals on the floor control the left and right swing function on this machine. And off to the left and right sides of the operator's seat are the control consoles containing warning alarm lights and switches to control the exciter, the propel system, and the drum brakes. And from standing on the edge of the catwalk here, you can get a similar view as to what the operator would see if he were running a 7820. And you can see where the two hoist and drag cables connect to the 44 cubic yard bucket.
power for the 7820 is produced from an AC motor generator set, developing 3,000 horsepower. This in turn distributes the power to two 1,300 horsepower hoist motors, two 1,300 horsepower drag motors, and four 375 horsepower swing motors. And even though the 7820 is classified as a mid-size walking drag line, it is no lightweight. The overall operating weight of a 7820 drag line can range anywhere from 1,900 to 2,150 tons, depending on the year of build and also configuration. The 7820 remained in production until 1993, after 13 units had been built and shipped all around the world. But there she is, a 1985 Marion 7820 walking dragline.